Hey, everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. We've got some interesting news, uh, very important news that I believe out of uh, the Russia-Ukraine war right now. And we're going to talk about that, the hypersonic missiles that were just used, and what's going on in Taiwan. Going to try and paint some pictures for you. We're going to look at markets, and we're going to talk about all of that. So let's just dive right in. We're going to go to here. And right here, uh, we're going to start, actually, we're going to start here with this story. Sorry. It's out of Newsweek, but honestly, the way news gets shared, it's on every publication. This came out today, Saturday. Now, um, about 19 hours ago was the first uh, news release, I think, that came out about this. Uh, I believe it's very significant. The markets are closed, however. We don't know how the markets are really going to react, but futures really aren't reacting right now. But I think this is a game changer. And it's entitled, Russia claims it used hypersonic missiles in the Ukraine war for the first time. It says Russia has used its newest Kinzhal, hopefully I have that pronounced right, hypersonic missiles for the first time in the Ukraine war, which if confirmed would signal an escalation by invading forces. And I completely believe that is the case. Um, the reason why it is an escalation is because countries all over the world have been developing hypersonic missile technology for a long time. However, we have not yet seen it, at least publicly used to in during wartime. And it is a very serious escalation. The reason why is hypersonic missile technology is very important because of the speed at which these missiles move and how hard it is to defend against them. It is a complete game changer. It is not, I mean, the only big, the biggest game changer I saw uh, in reading history books is when the US used uh, the atom bomb. It, that was a complete game changer because for the first time, a country was able to literally destroy a massive amount of of a country and it was unable that country was unable to defend against it you know um when bombers would go on bombing ra raids in world war ii you know there was flak and ways to you know aircraft can go and shoot those aircraft down and they uh you know the country that was getting attacked could still defend itself against these bombing raids and it would take a ton of bombs to destroy a city. When the atomic bomb was used, it leveled huge amounts of, of area. It was horrific, insane, I, I mean, devastating. Uh, I don't even have the right words for it, right? But it was a game changer. Now, hypersonic missiles are a game changer. And for Russia to be the first one, how do we know how this is going to turn out, right? This may be a massive escalation and uh, our president or other country leaders might even act even more serious in this next week. Um, it says here that, and again, hopefully I get it right, the Kiznal aviation missile system with hypersonic aeroballistic missiles destroyed a large underground warehouse of missiles and aviation ammunition of Ukrainian troops in the village of, I'm not even going to try. Uh, he said, according to news agency RIA, um, the point is I started looking at the, the headlines and they're all over the place. Now I, I went and I was curious what the futures, the pre-market were looking like and everything is still, you know, nothing really seems to have changed right now. I come over here and I think this is the next story we need to be really focusing on here. And that is about China and Taiwan. And it says here improperly handling Improper handling of Taiwan issues will affect China-U.S. ties, said Xi. He said, China says Taiwan, which it views as a breakaway province to be brought back to the fold. They are telling you right there what their intentions are, all right? By force, if necessary, is the most sensitive and important issue in its relations with the United States. Why? Because the United States does not want that to happen. All right. To be honest with you, I am quite surprised that China didn't move in sooner to after when Russia moved in. Quite frankly, I, I thought that that was going to happen pretty close to each other and throw the entire world a curveball. But China is telling you right now their full intentions. And so I am planning for that. What would happen to the markets, in your opinion? Please put in the comment section below if chi China took. Taiwan by force. I believe, quite frankly, it would be devastating to markets. Uh, not that it's going to cause this massive collapse at first, but it is going to do something very similar to what's going on with Russia. 
especially if China moves in while Russia is still at war with Ukraine. We know that Russia has tried to, uh, to uh, Russia and Ukraine have had some talks. Doesn't sound like they're going very well. Um, if China moves in at the same time that they're still at war, this could be absolutely devastating. All right. So I want people to be conscious of what's going on geopolitically around the world that could affect markets. Now, another thing that's going to happen if China takes Taiwan by force. If you thought that the chip us. Uh, chip crisis was big last year and the new cars coming off the line were one thing, it is going to be that times 10 if there is wartime in Taiwan, all right? We all know that Taiwan supplies a good amount of semiconductor chips and that will affect everything from cars to computers. It is a big deal, all right? Now, I always get people that sit there and they go, um, uh, you know, I can't believe you talk about finances when we're talking about people getting hurt. And what I want you to understand too, to anybody that may say that, is that an economic collapse can be in the past with countries even more devastating than what we're seeing in war. It literally can. People can starve. People can um, uh, riot and, and hurt, people get hurt that way. What I'm trying to do is prepare you now for every different scenario, right? Because it seems like in life, we are, we toss and turn between, it's almost like, you know, 99% of the population doesn't want war. They don't want any of these things, yet we go through them, right? And the more prepared a population is, the more power and authority they have, honestly, over their government. And I want that to be the case. I want us to be prepared and not scared. Um, but the facts are, it looks like we are seeing a war cycle converging with an economic cycle, converging with a just a humanity emotional cycle. The facts are we're going through a fourth turning. This is a major cycle where multiple cycles converge. Now, right here, um, China says, Taiwan, which it views, like I said, as that breakaway province brought back by, oh, I'll repeat myself, I apologize. Washington, which is seeking Beijing's help in restoring peace in Ukraine after Russia's invasion, has no formal diplomatic ties with Taipei, but is Taiwan's most important international backer and arms supplier. So that's going to be very, very interesting. As of right now, we have been, you know, in the news trying not to supply, uh, Ukraine with weapons because that would be an act of aggression towards Russia, right? Well, China's already front running this and saying, you better be careful. And I want people to understand, and we're going to stop sharing here. I, this is very, very important. We're in a world right now that is being split in two, the financially being split in two. Russia and China, along with the other BRICS nations that have already set up not only their own SWIFT uh, version of SWIFT, which is faster and cheaper, okay? It is better version than our 1950s version of SWIFT, okay? I want people to understand that. They have broken off. They are doing their own game now with many other countries that they have been spending years, if not decades, garnering relationships and trade agreements, okay? They are now on one side of the camp and we have Europe, Canada, and the United States on the other side of the camp. This is very, very serious. Even though you go home and you see your mutual funds at a certain level, your stocks at a certain level, your house prices at a certain level, right now, everything is being uh, threatened, all right? And that is why you need a core position in some type of assets, and this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but you have to have some protection, all right? Now, protection comes as in so many different levels. Um, and please put in the comments, guys, what you're doing to protect your assets, your nest egg. Because right now, there are things that are out of your control that are going to affect your livelihood. The food that gets put on your table, the cost of the food, the fuel you put in your vehicle, the uh, cost you're paying for a house, the uh, amount of money you have set aside for uh, retirement is all being threatened. So you have to take an active role. And guys, if this is hitting you uh, where it should, and, and it's causing that, ca that, that feeling of not anxiety, but like, I have to do something, do something. Let your gut feeling do, like, lead you to do something. Let it cause you to move and go into action. For those of you that have already prepared and you agree with this message, share the video. Because we need more human beings 
for humanity's sake. And I'm not saying that the whole world's going to blow up, but I want you to understand we are moving into a collapse because we are already collapsing, but most of the people just don't know it yet and they haven't ran for the exits. You are being blessed by hearing a message like this well in advance. Okay, so of course, I can't, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you any dates. Only an idiot would try and do that. But to say that I feel like it's impending, that it's coming, but to me, impending could be a year from now, two years from now. That's where you get prepared. And then once you get prepared, then you can take your extra money and, you know, try and play with these markets. I don't know if I would. So, all right, guys, with that being said, I wanted to bring you this information. I think it's very important. Please put in the comments what you think, how serious this China and Taiwan issue is. And with that being said, guys, the Economic Ninja is out.